अस्सलाम वालेकुम आज हम बनाने जा रहे हैं हलीम हलीम इज अ थिक सूप लाइक डिश कुक्ड विद मीट व्हीट पल्सेस एंड घी हियर आई हैव टेकन 200 ग्राम्स व्हीट एंड 100 ग्राम्स बार्ले वी आर गोना वॉश देम नाइसली एंड ड्रेन द स्टार्ची वाटर and then soak it overnight basically what we do in haleem is we cook dals wheat and meat separately and then assemble everything and cook it on dam for 20 to 30 minutes now that we have washed it nicely i'm going to cover it and soak it overnight now our soaked wheat and barley is ready Boil wheat and barley together in a pressure cooker. I add in one teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon salt, and water. Transfer wheat and barley in a pressure cooker. Add salt, turmeric, and water four cups. One teaspoon refined oil. Oil is added to stop the pressure of flowing water. Close the lid and pressure cook it for 15 to 20 minutes. In the interim, let's prepare our meat. We'll be needing two onions, diced, two bay leaves, one small cinnamon stick, one peppercorn, three cloves, three cardamoms. powdered spices 3 tsp turmeric powder 3 tsp coriander powder 3 tsp red chili powder 3 tsp garam masala powder salt ginger garlic paste 2 tablespoon each this is onion paste and 1 kg meat and oil or ghee Add oil in a pressure cooker and fry onions. Fry till it turns light brown. Then put the whole spices. Let it splutter. Fry it well for two to three minutes till it changes its color. Then goes ginger garlic paste, onion paste. Now put all the powdered spices. Fry it on medium to high flame for two to three minutes, or until the oil separates from masala. Once the oil separates from masala, put one cup water. Close the lid and on medium flame for fifteen to twenty minutes. It's completely tender. Now let's check our wheat and barley. Press the grains with your finger to check if it's completely done. This is done. Now we are going to transfer it in a large bowl. Using the same cooker, I'm going to cook my dal. Keep this aside. In the interim, let's prepare our dals. Generally, we take five dals. Dal 50 grams, pour dal 50 grams, rice 50 to 100 grams, lit urad dal 50 grams, chana dal 100 grams, soak 
chana dal for 20 minutes 50 grams split masoor i didn't had it so i just skipped it ingredients to go in the dals are red chili powder 1 teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon 1 teaspoon garam masala powder 1 teaspoon cumin powder coriander powder 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste 1 teaspoon salt and water take a clean pressure cooker and put all the dals in it my dal looks different from the ready made ones because it is from our home farming add rice to then goes all the powdered spices ginger garlic paste and salt and in goes 4 cups water and 1 teaspoon refined oil now close the lid and cook till it's completely done it will take 8 to 10 minutes meanwhile let's check our meat insert knife to check if it has become tender Our meat is ready. Keep it aside. This stage, you may separate the bones from the meat and mash the mutton pieces. But I prefer as it is. Let's check our dal. Our dal is also ready now. So now let's assemble everything. I have taken this dig, which I'm gonna add. wheat meat and cooked dals so in goes cooked wheat and barley mash it with the potato masher and then goes our dals finally the meat Give it a nice mix. Now add two to three glass of water. I'm adding two glasses here. You may add as per your preference. Close the lid and cook it on dumb for twenty to thirty minutes on a low flame. Let's check after half an hour. Everything is incorporated well in the meat, and there is an amazing aroma coming. For tempering, heat some oil in a pan and fry onions till it turns golden. Adjust the consistency at this stage if you want to. Adjust the salt if required. ready now let's serve for garnishing i have taken caramelized onions coriander leaves ginger julienne mint leaves finely chopped green chilies and lemon juice caramelized onions goes green chilies next goes ginger julienne coriander and mint leaves you may sprinkle some chaat masala powder as well sprinkle some lemon juice by adding mint and coriander leaves ginger julienne and green chilies in it Halim is incomplete without these garnishings. 